Happy lives. They're like, why are we not coming? If I could take them everywhere, we definitely would. But unfortunately, Australia is a little stricter on dogs than America. And yeah, they can't come everywhere. But we're about to head to the gym and do a bit of a um, core workout that you guys can do. We've been working a lot on our strength and stability lately. I'm actually writing a new program at the moment um, for my girls. So this one is a little sneak peek into a workout. I like to go through different phases when I train. So I have my lifting phase, I have my sculpting phase, and then I have um, a strength and stability phase where I want to really work on tightening myself up, getting stronger in places where I definitely neglect, such as my core and um, overall strength in general. So yeah, <laughs> probably should press the button. <laughs> uh, so we're about to go do one of these workouts and you guys can come with us, give it a go. You can do this workout anywhere at home, in the gym, up to you, but let's do it. Does anyone else um, catch their sister, friend, whatever, smiling every time they're texting? Like, <laughs> I'm expressionist. I like to express myself. You would not know what's happening on that phone, I tell you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got it? <laughs> So what we're going to do is a core slash upper body circuit. Emma, do you want to run us through what we've got? Guys, so we're going to be going through a core exercise that you can do at home or in the gym. We're going to take you through some of our favorite strengthening core exercises. I think a lot of people, when they want a tight core and abs, think they think they need it. to do lots of weighted crunches, lots of oblique work, uh, when really, if you want a small waist, do strength work, girls. Do things that are going to tighten your core and in turn, bring it in. So you're building back smallest. So I'm going to use an app on my phone. It's called uh, Sit S I T. Really handy app, girls. I get all my girls to use it. So 20 seconds each. So this is one of our easier <laughs> sessions from the new program. But you know, we're going to give us how much uh, layer of time you reckon? Five. All right. Are you ready? So with our um, vacuums, girls, we're going to be trying to hold it for the whole 20 seconds. You call out the things as you go. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> no. I'm not ready. Are we breathing? She's put me at the front. <laughs> She's smaller. <laughs> Shit angles. Here you've got vacuums, you start with your stomach release and then you're pulling your stomach into your spine as much as you possibly can. And basically you're holding that stance for as long as possible and keeping your tension on as your stomach pulls in. And then to release, you basically breathe out, let your stomach out, and then you repeat the movement. Plank, you don't want your shoulders too far over your elbows. They basically wanna be in line. You don't want your bum too high up in the air. And you also don't want your bum too low either. You wanna be in a very neutral stance. Belly button is still tucked into the spine. You don't want to sort of release your core, hold your core up and in. Here we're doing a push up hold. Start with your core on and in. Neutral stance, palms are shoulder width apart. Same with your legs. Your bum isn't dipping and same as it's not holding up. And then you're coming down into a push up and you're holding that stance nice and strong. Here you've got a side plank. So same concept as a normal plank, holding your core tight and in, keeping balanced shoulder over your elbow, feet together in a neutral stance and trying not to sway forward or back. Here you've got mountain climbers. So this movement should be controlled. You don't wanna to go too fast. You still wanna focus on squeezing your core as your knee comes up to the opposite elbow. You're in a neutral stance. You're not letting your hips dip too much and you're staying nice and strong through your arms. Supermans, you're lifting your arms your shoulder blades, your legs as high as possible. You still have your core on nice and tight. You're also squeezing your glutes. Everything is locked on. Even your arms are tensed. You wanna make this a full body movement and tense everything that you possibly can. 
vitamins. So you're bringing your legs around to the elbow on the same side, squeezing your oblique. When you're in a neutral stance, you're holding your core up and tight. Your hips aren't dipping too low. You're staying nice and strong through your upper body. Damn girl, she get angry at me. <laughs> Three, two, one. Well, how else do I count you in? <laughs> three, <laughs> three, two, one. So now you've got plank taps. So basically you're in a neutral stance with your plank. Again, your core is sucked in nice and tight through to your spine. You've got a neutral stance through your shoulders and elbows, and then you're tapping your palms forward just out of reach. So you're reaching out, and as you do that, you have to keep your core on nice and tight. Three, <laughs> three, two, one. Guys, where is the lighting around this joint? 
There it is. There it is. Good. <laughs> so I am actually buggered. Like I find strength and core work so so hard and it's one of my goals this year stretching and strength and stability is something i want to really really work on especially throughout my core and my upper body so they are some of our goals ours like we do everything the same um our goals for this year so in this new program it focuses a lot on sculpting and strength and stability and really working on all those little stabilizing muscles that don't get used enough doing compound movements i can hardly breathe guys but also girls, I was just gonna show you my outfit. Ooh. So girls, the tights I'm wearing today are Muscle Nation's new tights that I absolutely love. And they're scrunchable. All right girls, I hope you enjoyed this core workout. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Let us know. We're gonna be doing more of these sorts of workouts for you because they're really convenient because they can be done from anywhere. No equipment needed. That's all from us. We'll see you next time. Are you gonna say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Jack. 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 Come back, Jack. EHP. <laughs> Tag. EHP. Clayton.